Well, Goody, and today I'm going to talk to you about a slightly interesting topic, which have almost always troubled me too. What happens with day five and day six embryos? And that's where the whole discussion lies. Do day six embryos have a lower potential of implantation or is it that the endometrium goes out of sync? And this is highly debated. So what we do know is that there's a window of implantation and the window of implantation is quite narrow in an IVF cycle in about two days. And many studies have found that, that in that narrow period of implantation, it is likely uh, uh, to have errors. Now, if you have a look at one of these uh, papers which was done, and this was one of the first papers which was uh, written, and they looked at uh, around about 619 women with day five and day six transfer. First look what they found out is that there was no difference in live birth rates between day five and day six. So they did an analysis uh, much closer and they found that for day five and day six blastocysts, they found a better clinical outcome when day six embryos had a longer period of progesterone. And in fact, it dropped from 50% to 21% when they had a shorter or, or a five day progesterone, which is normally given. So what you were saying is that the live birth rate increased from 21% to 35.5% when the progesterone was continued and transfer was done on day seven, which means one extra day of progesterone. And you, then you would say, well, that's fantastic. Let's adopt it. But many other studies have come out saying, no, that is not probably the case. There's been quite a conflict in the answers coming through. Now, what we do not know is, is it that a day five embryo has a better potential due to its development or is it something to do with the... Now, what they also found out is the unanswered question is that we also know from uh, doing a fresh cycle that if you put a day six embryo, the endometrium goes out of sync and pregnancy rates um, are much lower. It has also been found out in 2019 by Bolden. And what he looked at, he says, if you looked at day six embryos being transferred around the same time as day five, which means after five full days of progesterone on day, day six, they had a higher miscarriage rate that tends to occur. So what we don't know now is whether the day five embryo has a better blastulation and that's, that's how it has a better implantation or a day six embryo takes longer to blastulate and longer time to try and have a better uh, a formation and whether that is due to metabolic and epigenetic differences and whether that lowers the implantation. We do, do not know exactly whether day six embryo has gone past, in some cases, the implantation window, and that's why results are lower. But that question is unanswered, and we still don't know the reason. Whether day five, day six embryos transferred after, let's say, 120 hours, which is five days of progesterone, have the same chance of pregnancy, or whether there's a, a difference. So. The question is, how will we know? And I think as larger studies come out, we may be able to answer this question better. Thank you.